4-1. The Nationals still have a 2-1 series lead. Uh, what's still exciting about it is the fact that, yes, teams that took a 2-0 lead like they did when they won those two games in Houston uh, go on to win that series 80% of the time. There are some other stats out there that are that are not working in the Nationals' favor. Like they say, like the, usually the team that wins that game three will go on to win that series. But we're not going to talk about that. Uh, let's talk about you, the fans, and, and uh, what you have in mind. We also have a cool guest that's going to join us just in a little bit. All right, so let's see what some of the fans are saying. All right. Of course, I need to bring it up. All right, so we have a lot of viewers now. So remember, comment on our Facebook page because I want to read the comments. I want to read what you guys have to say. Uh, and I love giving you guys a shout out. That, that's, I think that's what's, what's kind of most important is you, the fans, uh, giving you a shout out like Emmett Bean who says, are you doing an interview of, wait, are you going to interview Bun B? Is Bun B here? My, my, my producer, Tom Hunsaker, and my photographer, David Satcher, I said Bun B. They look like Bun who? Who the heck is Bun B? Who's Bun Elemental P? Uh, if Bun B, Google Bun B, you'll see who Bun B is. If you can find Bun B around here, tell Bun B to come holla at me. We're going to have a little, like, freestyle contest. Uh, let's see who else we have. Diana Jensen says, go Nats all the way. Harnell Casmore says, go Astros. Come on, Harnell, now. Come on. Wait until you see the special guest that I'm about to bring in right now. Uh, hey, Janaya, come on in. Come on in real quick. Uh, so, Janaya, uh, so if you guys don't know who Janaya is, Janaya is with the National uh, Youth uh, Baseball Academy, and she's throwing out the ceremonial first pitch. How cool is that? Very cool. I'm so excited to do so, but I'm also very nervous. Now, she's nervous because, you know, she didn't get that much practice in today. You don't want to throw it in the dirt. No. So no. What, what are you going to do right after this interview to make sure you don't throw it in the dirt? I'm going to practice. <laughs> We're talking about practice, y'all. Uh, comment on our Facebook page. If you have a question for Janaya, write it down. If you have any tips for her, write it on our Facebook page. My last question would be is the one we had when we were talking on, on air before. The World Series hasn't been here in 86 years. You're about to be a part of that history, throwing out that ceremonial first pitch. What does that mean to you? It means that I'm representing girls all over and girls who want to play softball. Go get him. You want to give a shout out real quick? Shout out to my family, my mom, my grandma, and my best friend. Oh, wait, we got baseball for you. Now, see, Janiah plays softball. You're, you're, you're cool with that, right? Yeah. What's wrong with throwing out that or the softball? Baseball. Oh, she's throwing out the baseball. All right, do your thing. Don't be nervous. You'll be all right. Shout out to Janiah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Janiah throwing out the ceremonial first pitch. Oh, you don't know. You can hang with me. You want? To... <laughs> See, she has her own little, own little like entourage following around, saying, "Go here for this interview. Go there for that interview." And now all of a sudden, they just kind of like left you. Yeah, it's fine though. It's okay. I can go get. I can go practice. You know who Bun B is, right? No. You don't know rapper Bun B? Okay, all right. Well, anyways, apparently Bun B's here. Uh, here, you want to read? You want to read these two comments here? Belinda, uh, what does Belinda say? This go Nats. Says. Sharon Sharon Hall says, "Go Strohs." I, yeah, we're not with that, are we? <laughs> no. I th oh, I think they're calling. There you go. Go do your thing. Thank you so much. <laughs> they almost, they almost forgot about her. Uh, but, but shout out to uh, Janiah, part of the Nationals Youth Baseball Academy. Uh, she's one of their scholar athletes. Uh, obviously, she's doing really well on the field and in the classroom. So big ups to her, throwing out the ceremonial first pitch before Game 3 of the World Series. I'm reading out your comments here on our Facebook page. Astros, they won yesterday. It's a 2-1 series lead. Nationals still up. They have those two games. They're going to try to make it a 3-1 series lead. But I want to know how you feel. How excited are you about this team? Do you believe in this team? Did you get nervous yesterday? Or you still feel comfortable that the, that the Nationals can still get this done? All right. So Ruth Munoz says, be calm. Cody Rogers says, tell her not to throw it like Cole and Verlander. That's pretty cool. Yeah, don't, don't. I wish Janiah was still here. Tell her, don't throw like Garrett Cole or Justin Verlander. Or when Justin Verlander fell down and he tried to throw it on it when he was on his butt and it hit his leg, he definitely showed like he was 36 years old right there. Uh, shout out to Chris Mahullen. Uh Chris Mahullen's watching. 
Uh, Chris was here yesterday. He first time in the ballpark. He loved it. He took like 80,000 pictures. Uh, go on my Facebook page. He tagged me like 5,000 of those pictures. Uh, he tagged me with them. So if you go on my Facebook page, you'll see who Chris Mahullen is taking pictures here on the baseball field, knowing that you take off your credential when you take pictures. Anyways, comment on our Facebook page. Uh, I'm reading your comments and giving you a shout out. We're here at Nats Park. This is game four of the World Series. The Astros are right there. They're right behind me. Uh, Sydney Thompson says, love the Nats. Uh, here in Harper's Ferry, Virginia. Harper's Ferry, Virginia. Yeah, I mean West Virginia. That's what I meant. You know where Harper's Ferry, Ferry West Virginia is? Very cool. Uh, Emmett Bean says, check your IG. Wait, check, check my Instagram. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. I've got to check my Instagram. I have, I'm, working my, I'm really working my two phones now. Uh, Ruth Munoz says, will Metro stay open tonight? Will Metro... Metro will stay open until 1 a.m. All right, let me see. Let me see. I'm, I'm checking my Instagram. Uh, oh! All right, so, so, so Bun B must be here. Now, just to give you a little bit of history about Bun B, because obviously I, ha I, have a, I have a wife that's from Houston. Bun B is a Houston guy. Uh, matter of fact, I think my wife knows him. Like, Bun B has done some, like, amazing things in the community. Um... I, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, like seriously, Bun B has done some great things. Like you're talking about a guy who was a rapper, Houston rapper, and then doing amazing things in the community. Uh, let me know if I'm right. I believe that's what my wife told me, who's Houston born and raised. Like I posted on my Instagram and Twitter page, we are separated. I put her on the couch uh, during this World Series. After the World Series is over, then we'll get back together. Uh, Cody Rogers says, can't leave that many people on base again. Yes, they left 12, pe 12 people on base. Hey, it's some high-class people walking by right here. Mr. Closer himself, the last guy to the last guy to wear number 42. If you ever do a little trivia question like that. Anyways, uh, Cody Alexander says, "Hey, Darren, why aren't you rocking the red?" I'll explain it again. I have on red draws. I have on red draws. But the reason why I'm not rocking the red is because when the Nationals wear the navy blue, they are now 9-1 and one in those jerseys. They won nine straight games rocking the navy blue. I'm going to do a little close-up. If y'all are going to get on me about rocking the red, y'all need to go in the clubhouse and talk to the Nationals on why they always wear navy blue. I'm just saying. I'm just following the team. I'm following the team. But I do have red draws on. And just like my last name, they are Haynes. All right, let's read some other comments because right now I'm just giving out too much information. Nationals up 2-1 in their series, trying to make it a 3-1 series lead here in game four. There's a little guy in, the, in BP right now. If this guy can strike out, we can strike him out 50 billion times. We'll be all right. All right, let's read some more comments. Uh, Ruth Munoz says, my aunt is in Houston. My family is divided. Oh, Ruth, I'm with you. Uh, Nancy Reinsbeater says, they will be okay. Go Nats. Karen Gato says, Nats, let's do it. Tonight is your night. Hashtag stay in the fight. If anybody doesn't know about the whole stay in the fight thing, it started months ago when this team was really bad, 19 and 31, uh, second to last uh, record in, in, in the National League, uh, my producers w was telling me to go on air and say they should fire David Martinez. And I, and I agreed. And I went on air and I said it. And now I regret it. But I talked to Davey about it months ago, actually, and be like, dude, you proved me wrong, my man. Uh, but I mean, the season was just horrible. I mean, no, nobody thought they would be in this particular position. They turned it around. They stayed in the fight, made that wild card, beat, uh, not Minnesota, beat Milwaukee, then went to take on the Dodgers, a team that won 106 games, franchise record, beat them in five games. I mean, think about it. I think it was the seventh inning. It was 2 nothing, and we're like, oh, this bad boy's over. Next thing you know, you have Anthony Rendon who hits a home run. Now it's 2-1. Then you had Juan Soto, back-to-back -back home runs. Now it's 2-2. Then we get bases loaded, I believe, in the 10th inning, and freaking Howie Kendrick comes and hits a grand slam home run. We are around Dodgers fans in L.A. I mean, they were all in my ear, dropping beer on me. It was never been so quiet ever before at Dodger Stadium. 
and then they sweep the Cardinals, then they come here to the World Series. Who would have known? Comment on our Facebook page. I'm reading more comments out. All right, Cody Rogers says, M-O, Mo, I don't, maybe I'm missing that one. Maybe I'm a little slow today. Corey Alexander laughing. Cody Rogers says, eight straight, not nine. Is it nine or how many did they win with their, with their navy blue jerseys? They won nine straight. They won eight straight postseason games. But wait, if they won, yeah, they won eight straight. Uh, they won eight straight postseason games, which ended yesterday. But their streak of wearing the navy blue jersey, they won nine straight before they lost yesterday. So they won. They wore the navy blue jersey, but then they went to another particular jersey, and then they lost. That's why those winning streaks are two different. So they, so the winning streak was eight, which tied a major league baseball record. No, hold on, I'm losing my mind. Yes, they won eight straight postseason games, which tied a major league, which tied a major league single season postseason record and but they won nine straight in their navy blue jerseys y'all are testing me today you know saturdays i'm usually off so my brain only works usually i'm hanging hanging with the kids at the apple orchard drinking cider all right uh emmett bean says must win for the nats continue to comment on our facebook page uh come on here tom i want you to get in here man uh Mitty grayson says uh call him call him on it cody uh wendy fox says which pitcher starting, Darren? That would be, that would be Patrick Corbin. Patrick Corbin. Patrick Corbin has been all. He's been all right so far this right. postseason. He he's scared. He scared us a little bit. He had the one rough inning was in in L.A. when he gave up a bunch in like the eighth. He came in in, in, in relief, and, and yeah, it didn't work out that well. But uh, he rebounded. He's yeah. he's all right. He's all right. It's not bad. All right. It's not That's bad. Tom Hunsaker. Shout out to Tom. Tommy boy. All right. Uh, Emmett Bean says, after the series, can Baby Shark be put to sleep, please? All right, so we, so we have a Baby Shark hater. Let me know what you think. Are you guys over the whole Baby Shark? I'm telling you, my daughter's in the back seat of my car saying, Daddy, can you play the Baby Shark song? Here's the thing about it. Yeah, the Baby Shark song may be a, a little bit played out, but if you're in this ballpark, when power comes up to bat and you see the whole stadium, all in that stadium doing the Baby Shark song, uh, a dance, you know, if it's Papa Shark, Mama Shark, whatever. It is an amazing scene when everybody comes together for one cause. I say, yes, after the season, it will be played out, but not until then. Uh, comment on our Facebook page. What else do we have? Uh, Corey Alexander says, yeah, Emmett, please put Baby Shark to sleep after we win. Uh, John Farr says, the Nats were going to sweep the Astros. They were bound for a loss. Oh, they weren't going to sweep the, the Astros. And then uh, John Farr says, shake it off and go 1-0. and That is their motto all season long. Uh, go 1-0. and They can go 1-0. and They'll take that 3-1 series lead. And that's where we want to be. Continue to comment on our, on our Facebook page. I'm going to do this for two more minutes. I'm going to do what's on my mind real quick while you guys continue to do some comments. I don't know what's on. Well, I do know what's on my mind. I just don't know exactly what I'm going to say because there's a thousand things on my mind. Here's what's on my mind today. I saw a Nationals team that literally struggled during the season, found a way to turn it around and literally turn this, sea, this entire DMV area into Baby Shark fans. Everyone is excited. Everyone believes in this particular team after so many heartaches before, never being able to win a playoff series. All of a sudden, now they're in the World Series. What I really don't want to happen, and I'll feel so bad for the DMV area, if the Astros find some way to turn this series around and go out and win, I will feel absolutely heartbroken for the DMV. That's how much I want this Nationals team to win. Prove that that whole DMV curse, the most DC thing, that cannot happen. Because I feel like if the Nationals don't close this bad boy out, it'll be worse than any Capitals loss in the playoffs. It'd be worse than any time the Nationals won their division, had the bye, and couldn't win in the, in, the, in the NLDS. It would be the worst feeling in sports history in the DMV area. Am I right? He says, I'm not wrong. That's what's on my mind. All right, let's read some more comments and see what you guys are saying. Uh, Deanna Perez says, let's redeem, go one and oh. Carl uh, Byer says, uh, something about the Dodgers. I'm not going to read that out because I don't know what you actually mean by that. Uh, Emmett Bean says, people who like Baby Shark don't properly season their food. <laughs> and Wendy Fox says, proud of you Nationals. Just like always, y'all, I'm going to continue to read your comments. I'm going to reply to your comments. Uh, I love how you guys join me. 
to every sporting event, no matter if it was the Capitals run, if it was some of the Redskins games, it could be some of the Wizards games, it could be the Mystics games, and now the Nationals games. You guys are always in there commenting. I'm reading your comments. I'm giving you a shout out. Let's get this done. 1-0 today, make it a 3-1 series lead, so then we can get either, who's next? Max Scherzer on the mound. Has it been confirmed? Is it Max Scherzer tomorrow? We're pretty sure. Either it will be Max Scherzer or Steven Strasburg, but if you want to go in order, it will be Max Scherzer. And let's, listen, if you look at Max Scherzer in the eyes, those, those, those brown and blue eyes, or they're brown and blue or they're green and blue. They're one of the two. They're just different color eyes. He's intimidating and a chance to close this out. I'm going to have Mike Wise close this out. Uh, one last word real quick. Nats in five. I'm calling out a five to three victory tonight. I believe Ryan Zimmerman's going to homer. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Ryan Zimmerman, Mr. National, will homer. Uh, five three Nationals will win, according to Mike Wise. The series will be over in five games. All right, he's calling out right there. Until then, comment on our Facebook page. Reported from Nationals Park, it's your boy D. Haynes. Comment on our Facebook page, y'all. I'm out. I'm really out. But Satch likes to get that nice shot. I'm really out.